Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, it's me Jenna Master 98 back again with another Star Wars figure review. In today's Star Wars figure review we're going to take a look now at a character that appears in the first series of the Andal TV show. And the character we're going to take a look at today is this one. It is the Phase 2 Clone Trooper from the first series of the Andal TV show. Now this is the latest Phase 2 Clone Trooper from Andor to be released. It's an updated version of the Phase 2 Clone Trooper that appears in the Clone Wars and obviously appears in Revenge of the Sith. The updated design is really really nice in terms of the accessories, the helmet display, the paint applications and the overall sculpt. The only thing that takes this figure away a little bit is if I was just to move the leg there, you've got a little bit of a mark in there that's there which should be under his uh, foot there but apart from that the figure is really really nice the head sculpt is really cool and the look on that helmet is even better alongside with his weapons we'll take a look at this character in a few moments but let's take a look at the vintage card that comes with this figure as you see this is the vintage collection packaging for the phase clone trooper or the phase 2 clone trooper from Andor at the top obviously you've got the Star Wars Andor logo there the name of the character, the plastic bubble that protects the figure, the Kenner logo and a nice shot of the clone trooper in action there. If I turn the packaging around you've obviously got the Star Wars logo at the very top, other figures that appear in the wave and obviously some legal stuff at the bottom. So that's pretty much it in terms of packaging but the picture is nicely done. So that's the packaging for this Clone Trooper from Andal. Let's take a look at this figure in more detail. I'm going to start off with the articulation and then I'll move on to the accessories. Articulation wise he's got movement at the tops of the head, shoulders, elbows and the wrist. Torso is movable alongside along with the legs, sorry. So you've got the torso moving there, the legs moving at the knees and at the ankles. He does come with the large clone trooper rifle there, which is nicely sculpted. And also does come with a shorter version as well, which is nicely done. In terms of the other accessory that this character does come with, he does come with a remo removable helmet, but I'll show you that in a few moments. Just give you a zoom in. As you can see, this is the helmet of the uh, Clone Trooper. Really nicely done in terms of what they're getting. Nice snuggle fit and really, really nice details there. If I was to remove the helmet itself, underneath, obviously, you've got the Clone Trooper head sculpt, which is nicely done with his jet black hair, the back plate as well, but a really nice lightness to the clone trooper and obviously you've got the large rifle there that you can use and overall the nice shade of white and black they've used with the belt the back plate and obviously all the stuff that clone troopers use for their armor as i said the only thing that takes this figure away briefly is that little bit of mark in there which i think they should have put it under his feet but apart from that that's nicely done in terms of the sculpt, it's really nicely done, really nice feel to the figure. And overall, it's a really, really cool design for this Clone Trooper, despite it being a standard Phase 2 Clone Trooper. But that's the big selling point, that head sculpt, and obviously that helmet as well. It does look really cool as well. So I'll just zoom out for you. But as I said, in terms of what you get in the figures, nicely done, sculpted well, and I even managed to pick up another version of this character as well. We only briefly see this character, or characters, in a brief episode of Andor, but it's nice to see Phase 2 Clone Troopers pop up in the series. Whether they pop up for the second series, we'll wait and see. But in terms of what you're getting, the figure's fantastic, the sculpt, the paint applications, everything about this figure is nicely done, and as I said, the big selling point is that head sculpt and obviously the helmet as well. 
So that's pretty much it for the Phase 2 Clone Trooper from the Andor TV show. I'll be back with many more Star Wars figure reviews very soon. Be sure to obviously subscribe to the channel, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and I will see you very, very soon. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. Take care, look after yourself, and as always, may the Force be with you.